Well, hello everyone. Today we're gonna try to make some progress with our haul, but before that I did find a color palette which I'm gonna use, but firstly I gotta go to the nether, as you can see, to get some uh, black stone and some other darker colors. So yes, that's gonna be first on my agenda. The second one is probably gonna make some villagers and the villagers I'm gonna make are probably gonna be some masons, I think, because I'm gonna need the quartz trait. So yes, that's gonna be more or less it. If you are asking what's that there in the distance, well, you just gotta watch the wit, right? Well then, see ya later. Later is now. We are at the dark oak forest. I need mushrooms. Mostly the brown ones, but the red ones too, cause I need them to make fermented spider eye for brewing. The potion of weakness, cause I need it uh, to the villager, so I can get the witch doctor achievement and I can reduce the prices. So guys and girls, I gotta confess, I checked the, the seed map, cause I wanted to find a mangrove swamp and oh boy oh boy, I would not have found it if I didn't check the map. It's like eight and a half thousand blocks away from uh, my base. As you can see, these are my current courts and this is the courts I need to go to. I mean I won't really check it for something else I need. I did check a slime chunk earlier, which I started to excavate a bit to prepare it for a farm, cause I could make a swamp based one, but I didn't see any swamp in my immediate location, so yes, I can only do it this way. Just brute force it, like most of the things in life. The heck? But the biggest quality of life change right now for me is uh, getting the ender chest and portal, uh, shulkers and so on. Because even for material gathering and for storing big quantities of items, shulkers are necessary. And having an end chest with a few key components, some shulkers inside and so on, helps so tremendously in the early game that I'm quite happy that I've gone even if I died, even if I used there a lot of time in the end, I'm happy. There we go, there we go, or messy swamp. And there we go, that's all I needed, some proper gules. I mean, I still don't know how to use the items, cause I always played in the versions before, so it will be a new experience for me too, the same is with the mud. Never really used it, so I'm gonna gather a lot of it. The same can be said about almost all the changes after the update 1.18, cause that's the last patch I played. Well done! Let's see a bit later. So this is the harvest. Most a uh, few stacks of mud, a few snowballs and so on and so forth. Most of the things I wanted to get from here I've gotten and the rest if I would need it I gotta just make some farms from it or just brute force get it by you know bone meal and so on manually. We are back at the chest monster. As you can see I've got a zombie doctor. I've got it cause I got fermented spider eyes. Those you can make by combining spider eyes, sugar and mushrooms. And after that you go to the brewing stand, uh, put up the fermented spider eyes and a few bottles with water. You use uh, blaze powder to power it. After that you can use uh, gunpowder to make it a splash potion of weakness. After that we're gonna have a splash potion of weakness. We splash the villager and then use a golden apple. After using the golden apple, the villager is gonna be cured, as you can see. And his traits are gonna be almost free. I had to set free the aqua affinity guy because, because, because I had only one <laughs> of the villagers in the free range farm. So yeah, I had to breed them more, so he was temporarily set free. And after end busting, I upgraded my gear, as you can see. Sweeping edge, sharpness, looting, mending, silk touch pickaxe, fortune pickaxe, the hoe I had from before, so that's nothing. Diamond shovel, silk uh, axe, 
I need to make a fortune X too. And right now I upgraded the golden helmet because I want to use it. I want to pick up some basalt, some other stuff because I took something of a color palette for here. I mean for the chains and so on. That's it for the current progress. I've got here the fireworks, some gunpowder papers and so on. Some few shulker boxes which I, you know, <laughs> you see. Rename it after a few stones. <laughs> Cause I dug a bit on the slime chunk, but yeah. Bye. So we are in the nether, as I said. I never really flew in the nether. So this is gonna be the first time we are trying to look for basalt, which we got here a lot. Ooh, so that's why the spawn was like crazy. It's a basalt. Wally Delta, this is great. I mean, really, really great. I couldn't have a better spawn for the, you know, that stronghold. Maybe, just maybe, I can make it a bit safer. This and this, come on, skull. No. Well then, let's go mine something. That's the main reason I even came here. I want to have a shulker box full of basalt and then blackstone. Well then, let's go. Hello there. So, I've mined a bit, like I said, a full shulker of basalt, full shulker of blackstone. As you can see, I made quite a bit of mess here. <laughs> I mined whatever I could here. It was a bit fun. Here I found a bit more blackstone and yes, that's more or less it. And I'm probably going to mine a bit of quartz too, because I want to have, you know, nether quartz for some redstones, uh, bits and pieces. So yes, okay, this should be enough. And let's go get some quartz. I'm gonna risk it for a bit. Okay, you go down and you go down. Oh, no. Yep. Nope. Oh man. Okay. I want to get some wither skellies. Because I would love to have a beacon, as you know. Come on, get me a skull. Nope. Ah, <gasps> uh, we got it. The first skull, spooky, spooky skeleton. Okay, let's go back a bit. Wither skeleton in his natural habitat. Up, 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 don't die. No skull. For now, I get one skull. Okay, that's a beginning. I mean, if I'm already in the nether, why shouldn't I get the skulls? Omae wa mo shinderu. Nani? That was a skull. Yes, we got two skulls. Okay, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna make it like this. Yep. Now I will always know if I got the skull or not. I just need one more, because I really want the beacon. So I gotta fight the wither. We got the skull! Okay, we can run. Oh yeah, I need a bit of saw sound, which I did see here when I, when I was uh, mining here. Oh, we got it, as you can see, here, and from here I saw this. And bye. No? There, bye. I'll go a bit higher. Saying higher reminds me of a song of OXT, yes. Highest of the Eminence in Shadow, season 1. A banger song. But how is it that an animated series can make a song like Moonlight Sonata of Beethoven make it so cool, epic and great? I mean, it was a banger. And the moments too. Love it. Okay, this should be enough. 
Yep, I'm quite happy with that. And let's see us at the base. Well, hello, we've got another voiceover clip because I've got a bit unlucky and the audio was totally mismatched. We've got some Wither Skulls and a bit of Soul Sand, so we can finally go and fight the Wither, as you can see. Uh, we gathered the Basalt Blackstone and as you can see this is the loot we got from the Nether, so I'm quite happy with it. We've got some Crazen and Warp Nylium, so we can make some uh, Nether farms in the overworld. So we don't have to go there all the time. And let's go into the caves. Oh, oops, I had my head. Well, never mind. Oh yes, and here I've got a slime chunk. And as you can see right here, yep, I've dug a bit, but I do want a beacon. So that's gonna be the focus of this, because who doesn't want a beacon, right? Well then, let's go slowly down or fast. It doesn't really matter. And we're gonna try to fight a wither. I'm gonna go for the older strat, you know, the easier. So we're gonna just dig a bit into the deep slate and till we are done. And there we are. We've gone uh, quite a bit deep into the deep slate layer. We've got some tough here, but it doesn't really matter too much. So yes, that's all right. We've dig a little pocket here. We place the soul sand right about now. Yes. The two skulls. We don't wanna sum the wither yet because I want to make it a little bit bigger at the pocket and then uh, throw the XI taken from the chicken corpse, because the chickens are gonna be transformed into the wither roses. I really like to have some chickens. Chickens are really a great and easy way to get a lot of wither roses here, because for the early game this is still one of the best ways, I mean. Yeah, it's possible to make a wither rose farm in the end with the help of enderman, but yeah, for me this should be already all enough. We've got a sped up footage of me throwing the eggs at 15 times the speed, cause why not? And after throwing uh, almost all of the eggs, I'm gonna check the box, take it all, and then I'm not gonna throw them all there, but I'm gonna check the end of the hallway, cause I don't want to have a straggler come here and kill me. Because the thing is, I'm gonna go AFK for a bit. I want to have lunch and so on. And uh, in the meantime, the chickens, because you know they are babies still, are gonna grow up. And where they grow, and when they are grown up, they're finally gonna drop the wither roses. So yes, that's more or less uh, the agenda. So right now I'm gonna box myself up, but for you people, it's gonna be literally right. Now, yep, and now I'm coming back up. <laughs> it was literally like this. So now that our chickens are finally grown, we can place the last skull. And yeah, don't forget the chest plate. And yes, the wither is summoned. We can go back up a little bit, ready or bow. I mean. We can just go straight onto him with a sword, cause it's that easy to kill him. But yeah, I'm gonna do it with the bow till it's half health. Cause after that uh, the ranged projectiles are not working. And now. You see how he glows? That's the thing. I mean there are many ways to fight the raider. Some people just place a lot of iron golems and uh, let them uh, do the work <laughs> for themselves. So yes, that's it. That's the Raider fight. We got the Nether Star. Yippee! Okay, I'm gonna take all this. And as you can see, we've got a lot of chicken and Wither Roses. There could probably be one stack of them, which would be really cool for me. So yeah, I'm gonna take all the loot and then slowly but surely go back up. Yeah, loot. Nom, 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 nom. After getting all the loot, we can slowly but surely go slowly up. Finally freedom from the sticky caves. 
and yes, fresh air, finally, nice. Did we get the stack? Yes, we did, stack and one from Wither Roses, that's a surprise, okay, nice, we can put it all away, we've killed some slimes, and that's it. And right now I'm gonna show you how to craft a beacon, cause some of you probably don't know how to. Well then, let's go. First we're gonna need some obsidian, some glass and another star and there we go, that's our beacon. Hallelujah! I'm so happy, I finally got my beacon, I can finally mine it with haste too. And now the annoying part, I'm gonna need some iron or emerald blocks to power it, but that will be for a bit later. I want to show you how to use it. I mean, you just press here and press OK. But as you can see, I don't have enough of base for it. So yeah, still happy I got it. Nonetheless, I can finally try to do something with it. I can finally mine the areas like for the slime chunk, for farms, for materials a lot faster. So that's at the very least uh, some bit of help for me. Then this uh, difference, I've got some masons, still not trade to full because I need the quartz. Cause I want uh, the build which I want to do for the villager trading hall, but I gotta need a bit more quartz. So yes, yeah, you can see I didn't make any progress. Still for that I do need the masons which I do have, but I need to trade. And as you've seen before, I had to trade for a stone to progress to the next stage, so that's more or less what I'm gonna use the beacon for. As for the farms, I'm gonna go to them, you're gonna see it in the next one or two episodes, but before that I want to gather a bit of the materials, as I said, I want to show the coral parrot. As you can see, uh, I was AFK for a few hours, I just watched a stream and I just wanted uh, the farms to produce a bit of stuff like melon pumpkins, sugar cane, bamboo and so on and so forth. As you can see slowly, the copper is aging back at the farm, so yes. Well, that was it for the episode, thank you all for watching and we'll see you all later in the next episode. Bye!